What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to the 66th episode of the Milan Career Mode. Before we start, <laughs> I don't have the objectives ready for this episode, so I'll be having to wait. Maybe I'll just bring them back at the end of the season or because I want to show you them and I want you guys to see. And that also brings up a point. I saw a couple of comments. Why do I still do this? The reason I still do this is because this gives me like time to just chill for like an hour, an hour and a half, record these episodes, edit them, bring them out to you guys. And there's still a massive following for this. And I'm still working hard on the Nobs FC career mode but sometimes I need to just break away from all the customization because it does take like I, you guys have to realize how much like goes into making one of those videos yes it's like two hours of recording but then there's the editing process I need to make sure that I check almost every single comment I need to customize some things especially bringing in the stadiums and all that so it, it's just a ton of work that I put in for the Nobs FC career mode and it's fun to just you know sit back chill record and get nervous at this career mode because apparently my players just <laughs> don't feel like doing their job anymore inter milan first game of the episode in the champions league quarterfinals we already have a one nil advantage over them look at this man look at kessie look at tonali they're both down in form if we also take a look at erling holland he's also down in form lovegren now apparently back to like his best so like i was thinking maybe the region of zlatan ibrahimovic would be something great for us i know you guys would all love something like that Olaf Lofgren who got the only goal last time and Erling Haaland they have Martinez Busto Saint Maximin Zubeldia Barella Wings Greenwood Martinez Guendouzi Zagadu and Bernard Doni who's in goal saved quite a few shots last episode and Inter have everything to play for in this match yeah that's my reasoning behind continuing to do this series and a lot of you are diehard Milan uh, Milan fans so that's also one of the reasons and obviously you know myself being one I want to see how many trophies we can get break some records see if we can break some personal club records this was such a good game last time I think they got a penalty that Gijo Donnarumma did save. Look at Napoli, man. And I hope we don't face them in the semifinals if we do go through. I hope they can take on somebody else and then maybe we can meet Napoli in the Champions League final. What a big Champions League final that actually might be. Adams Milan against Rino Gattuso's Napoli, hopefully in the final. And then if we win the Coppa Italia or the Scudetto, or we don't win one of those, I could put the patches on some other clubs. Because right now, Napoli in the Serie A is going crazy. I don't think they've lost a game. And I'm still looking for a Tomiyasu face. I haven't found one. Maybe you guys can let me know. But right now, we need to focus on this match coming up. Saint Maximin was tricky last time. Martinez, he was all right, but other than that, Bernardoni was saving them. Donnarumma was saving us. And let's go, boys. Are they gonna look for Saint Maximin again? You know they are. That's all they're doing. Now trying to get in the cross, Saint Maximin. Kessie, get back. Zubeldia, just take it, shielding it. Maybe looking to go down. Romagnoli's there. Good block by Alessio. Now Bustos. Get this. Okay, Tonali. Patience by Sandro. Can Donnarumma find Lofgren? He might be able to. Go Lofgren. Go Lofgren. Good strength by Olaf. Can he find Erling Haaland? A ball to Erling Haaland. Ah, uh, maybe should have continued at all the space in the world. Bustos were doing well, but they've been threatening Greenwood. That's Kessie with the foul. Always such big games in a derby. And they're talking about Inter's next match against Bologna. I don't think that matters to them right now. The only focus they have is trying to get something in this match. Tomiyasu needs to get it clear. Romagnoli does. Calabria. Lovely by Calabria. Just get this away. And Tonali, the constant pressure by Inter is on full display here. Winning back that ball. Zubeldia. Lautaro. And look for Saint Maximin, right? No, they go to Nicolo Barella. Such a good team this Inter is. As Kessie. It's a bad challenge by Kessie. Now Lotaro. Good defending. Calabria. Not making them get anything. But they're everywhere. Pellegrini gets that ball back. Now finds Lofgren. Lofgren going to look to take. Somebody help Lofgren out. And of course. Doesn't do the skill move I want. We're wasting these attacks. We're allowing them to get back in. And Gravenberch is already so tired. Let me select Calabria. So if he plays in the ball, it's offside. Lautaro now. Good ball into Bustos. That's Romagnoli with a good challenge. There is Lautaro. Yep. It was coming. 
We got a game on our hands. A goal each that separates Milan and Inter. And as it stands, it's going into extra time. Great ball. Donnarumma tried to come out, close down the angle. But in the end, Lautaro Martinez with a great finish past Gigio Donnarumma. And this is why I said, guys, I love these types of game. They're non-stop pressure. We haven't really done much. And it's looking like 45 minutes left might be heading into extra time because we apparently have nothing today. I wish if a player got a yellow card, it would actually say misses next match or something like that. But I didn't actually check. And I don't know if they actually do that. Kessie's coming up. That's a big piece. But Manuel Locatelli has enough to take his place. He's not bothered by his lack of games. And we got him a real face. So I'm happy about that. He's back playing at the team he developed at. And Calabria now. Can he find Teo? What a ball that is by Davide. Sandro Tonali. Manuel Locatelli. Back to Davide. Take it inside, Davide. Lovgren. Erling Haaland. Good ball by Lovgren. Erling Haaland's going to stop. Wait. Take the shot. Patience by Erling Haaland. If it stays like this, we're going through. Inter need two. Haaland stepping up after there was so much talk about him, assisted by Olaf. And this is a team that has won two Champions Leagues in a row, man. You, you just can't give them that much space. Erling Haaland, patience in the box, gets it onto that strong foot. And what a goal that is by the Norwegian. Erling Haaland, sixth, seventh goal of the season in the Champions League. That's goal number seven. So far away from Ronaldo's record, it's going to take a massive season. 20 minutes left. Let's keep this, guys. We know that they're going to come alive now, even more than they, they were in the second half. Erling Haaland tracking back. Barella. I haven't had time to make a change this entire second half. Besides, Kessito. Miyasu. I thought he caught the ball, man. We just gifted them another penalty. That, I don't know, referee. I really don't know about Tommy. You can't even see because of the replay. And now I think Nicolo Barella with a chance to get something, some hope. Barella missing the target. How are you this bad at penalties, guys? How are you this bad? Barella scuffs the shot over the bar. Just using all that speed, he definitely can use Bernadoni. Lovely stuff by the goalkeeper, Martinez. Just trying to send long balls now. Greenwood, he's been so quiet all game. Teo, running out of speed. Mason Greenwood now in the box. Going to chip him. There's Tomiyasu. Yes, Takeiro. Gave away the penalty. And then the so well there as Teo. Tomiyasu, thank you, man. I think it's over, guys. I think it's over, guys. Teo, risky pass. Daniel Maldini, patience here, guys. As he finds Erling Haaland. Use that strength, Erling Haaland. Just shield it. Find Ivan Pellegrini, hits it. Oh my God, what a goal by Ivan Pellegrini. Hits it with his left foot. That's in off the post, Ivan Pellegrini. Sending us to the semi-finals. Erling Haaland just needed to stay patient. Hits it with that left foot. Beats Bernadoni. That's one of the nicest goals I think I've scored all season. Just outside the box. Slowly rising. That's in off the post, Ivan Pellegrini. 3-1 on aggregate. It feels so good, guys, to beat Inter Milan. And they actually gave us a challenge. And now, if we do face off against Napoli anywhere, either semifinals or the final, if we get there, guys, that's going to be a, t a tremendous game. Not slowing down the Serie A, not slowing down the Champions League. Ivan Pellegrini, one attempt, one goal. Let's see who we're taking on, guys. It's going to be Milan, Real Madrid, Napoli, Liverpool. There's a chance, guys. There's a chance it could be an all-Italian final. And Napoli, man, if you take a look at them in the Serie A, currently one point above us with the same amount of games played. And they're just not stopping, guys. They're winning, and they're winning, and they're winning, and it's just, they're just not letting go of it. it. It might be too late for us. They drew nil-nil against Udinese. We need to win this one. We really do need to win this one. It's going to put us one point above. It's 16th place, Kairi. Fixer on the lineup, guys. I'm hoping we could do it during the simulation. At striker with Lorenzo Colombo. We got Pellegrini right behind them. Maldini, Tonali, Locatelli in the midfield. Teo Romagnoli, Tomiyasu, Kalulu starting at right back. And Stefano De Rosa in goal. They do have Marco Van Ginkel. Who remember once upon a time did play for Milan. Unless it's a different one. 
but hoping that the simulation can actually bring us some big things and I don't need to struggle. Lovgren, let's go, man. Coming alive in the Serie A near the end of the season where <laughs> he needed to do it all season, but four goals in one game last time, a hat trick. This time starting off with a big, big goal. And let's continue to watch, guys, because sometimes when you quick sim, it just stays as the same result. Lovgren with another shot. Is this going to be a, a full simulated match where I don't jump in and have to be scared? Yes, see. Oh, okay. Lovgren. That's two for Olaf. Let's go, man. Colombo could have got one. Lovgren making the most. Could have had maybe two, three more, guys. Like, honestly speaking, had some poor touches. Four goals, like I said last time. This time he scores a brace. And he's just trying to help us push for that Scudetto. As Lovgren with two. Milan with all three points. Oh, okay. I know why Lovgren wants to score. He wants to be Capo Canonier. <laughs> right behind Dembele. Dembele with 19. Lovgren with 19. So that's why he continues to put in those performances. And obviously Dembele scoring another one. Napoli. Who are they playing today? Hopefully it could be somebody that they could maybe lose to. As Napoli is playing Torino. And Torino... Alright, 13th place. I want to know, do we maybe play Napoli once again? We play Sampdoria, Croto... We play... Oh my god, guys. We could have, like, a Scudetto deciding game against Napoli. And then maybe we could play them again if we get into the Champions League final. Then we have the, the Cup match the final in the Coppa Italia against Juve. So like I said, maybe two or three episodes remaining, including this one. Sampdoria, Milan, I think we can afford to simulate this one as well. Let's give him a start off the bench and maybe bring him on. The Ukrainian attacking midfielder should hopefully be able to get into this one. No problems. It is Sampdoria though, and you guys know their history in this series where, and just, you know their history throughout all my Milan career modes. They're the most infuriating team in the history of existence. They have Lacazette up top though. Maybe it gives it a more real feel to the Scudetto race. As Napoli, they did draw, but uh, today they're playing Torino, and I don't know, guys. They're doing so well in the Champions League. Maybe they're focusing all their energy there. They'd rather win the Champions League. And Milan now just looking to find a way through. Tonali, Kessi, uh, take a shot, something. Kessi, find Erling Holland. The shot, there's Lofgren, okay. 20th goal of the season, off the rebound. He puts us up 1-0 against Sampdoria. And they instantly equalize. Christy scoring. Sampdoria being Sampdoria. Holland. Let's go, Erling. Thank you, Erling Holland. I was just about to take him off in <laughs> quite a bit. And you know what? Let's get Bandura on. Look at those stats, man. As an attacking midfielder, I'm going to take him off for Ivan Pellegrini. Let's see what Arthur Bandura could do. The Ukrainian attacking midfielder. I want to give him some games before like his potential does drop and maybe look to get him out on loan at the end of the season or something like that. But just try and get that potential to not drop. And he's coming on for Ivan Pellegrini. Find somebody. Finds Kessi. Tonali. Shoot Sandro. Sandrino with the goal. And it's 3-1, guys. Let's go, man. Now I feel safe jumping in. Salamakers. Bandura. Tonali. Colombo, finding Lovgren, good ball, can he play in, Bandura, good pass by Olof to Arthur Bandura, first game, first goal, the Ukrainian attacking midfielder, looks so promising, and that's lovely by Lovgren, assist, Bandura hits it, great strike, okay, Colombo's not injured, can he find Lovgren, good run, looking for goal number 21, Lovgren, looking for goal number 21, Lovgren, put in, as many as we can get, Lovgren. And it's 5-1, guys. Like just, just goes to show how good he's been since the beginning. 5-1. Massive three points. Napoli, let me guess. They won 8-2, right? They won 8-2 against Torino. <laughs> they ended up winning 4-2. So they're not stopping, but still a point above Napoli. And that game against them is really, really scaring me, guys. That could decide the Scudetto. Milan Crotone. And then Napoli Fiorentina, who are 18th place. So <laughs> that's going to be something to see. Rotone Milan, I think I'm going to fix around the lineup. Maybe rest a couple of players. Real Madrid coming soon. And then I think quick simulating might be a good option. I'm going to keep Holland 
well rested for the game coming up against Real Madrid. Let's start Pandora once again. Why not? We're also going to get Salamakers on the bench. Aoge, uh, he's been all right. Pellegrini now, like, uh, my players are just very streaky. They'll play a couple good games, then forget how to play. And Tonali, let's play Kessie on the left-hand side or Kessie in the middle, Locatelli on the left. And I think this could just be a quick simulated match. Maldini still hasn't had time to train to a central midfielder, but it's going to come soon. Lovgren, I just, because I'd like him to finish Capo Canonier and see if we could, I, I don't know, I doubt he's going to have time to score 37 goals, but right now he's the closest one to it. And then we can maybe have one or more recovery days. Let's quick simulate this. Let's see what happens as Milan winning Kalulu with two goals. Kessie with one, Lovgren not able to score, and did he come off? He didn't, Colombo with a yellow card. Where are we going, Kessie, Tonali, Gravenberch, he's in good form. He's not growing that fast, but it's maybe because I'm putting him on balance, or I think it's on balance because I want his stats to get well, well rounded, but I know he might be getting a potential boost. Like I said, guys, 23 years old, and he's slotted into the team so nicely. So let's go, Gigio, Calabria, Tomiasu, Romagnoli, Teo, Kessi, Gravenberch, Tonali. He only does drop by minus one. We're going to go Pellegrini because he played so well in that last game. Lovgren on 86 fitness. And I think this should be all right. Should we get a guy like Bandora just to come on the bench? Uh, why not? Let's try and do that. He got his first goal. He looks incredibly promising. Already almost 70 overall. Madrid going with Courtois, Juan Bisaca, Gabriel, Diego, Carlos, Mendy, Neves, Fabian, Valverde. And then up top, Asensio, Vinicius, and Depay. What a lineup for Real Madrid. This is going to be a massive match. Let's hope that this game against Real Madrid is exactly like the one against Inter. They gave us a big, big game. I don't know why sometimes if the teams are better than you on paper, they just lie down and they give you the game. And then a team like Inter, maybe because it's a derby, and a team like Napoli, maybe because they're doing so well, I guess. That's why they're playing fantastic. So if we do end up facing Napoli in the final, it's going to be a, a big, big game. But we have to get through Real Madrid first. I don't think... Or I might just go back and look, but I don't think they've won a Champions League in this entire save. So they're looking for one. They've got Vinicius. They've got some good players. A couple of players without real faces. Courtois still in goal. Valverde, the captain. Milan looking to get into their third final in a row, guys. And still trying to, trying to get that Scudetto. We also have the Coppa Italia final to look forward to. Taking on Juve. So that's also going to be a big game. They've given us some problems this season, so it might be tough to win some championships this season. Tomiyasu, a tremendous pressure by Memphis Depay. He gets, he does well there, guys. So I can see that they're already putting pressure. Might take them out of the play a little bit too much, though. By Real Madrid. Cross comes in. Vinicius, good save, Donnarumma. Alessio Romagnoli needed to clear that. What a game we have on our hands, guys. We're going to need to work for that goal. We're going to need to work for these goals, guys. And I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to continue to bring this to us. As Neves, the shot, what a strike by Ruben Neves. All right, we've got a game on our hands. 1-0 down, 11 minutes in, guys. Just a disaster defensively. Disaster defensively. Nobody closing him down. What a strike by Ruben Neves. And that's an away goal. Already, guys. Already. Donnarumma off the goal kick. Finding Tonali. We love to do that, man. And it's just not working. Romagnoli. Good block by Asensio. Now, uh, they're way too good, guys. This is what I'm liking. As Tonali from Erling Haaland. Go, Sandro. Go, Sandro. Get in there, Ivan. Get in there, Ivan. Get in there, Ivan. Quick goal. But Ivan Pellegrini turning into such a vital player. One goal for Ivan Pellegrini. 1-1 couple of minutes before halftime as Tonali is off to the races good speed by Sandro and then just plays it across great finish with some big pressure on him makes no mistake there stays composed it's in the back of the net okay good touch by Sandro Erling Haaland keep going can he find Erling Haaland hit this Erling hit this Erling oh the save by Thibaut Courtois good stuff Tonali is everywhere as Ivan Pellegrini now cross this no just way too much on it End of the first half. What a game, guys. Goals are shared at one apiece. We scored through Ivan Pellegrini. They scored through 
I think it was Ruben Neves. Two attempts, one goal for Pellegrini. Sandro, to oh man, there's so much action going on. Fabian, get on him, Kessie. Where's everybody gone? As the block comes in by Teo, needs to get it away. Tomiyasu going sliding in. That's a good ball. Surely not. As Neves, the second away goal for Real Madrid. 60 minutes in. All right, we're 2 1 down, guys. Kessie, lovely. Pellegrini, Leao, already starting. Lovely by Rafael Leao. Now finds Ivan Pellegrini. Hit this, Ivan. Hit this, Ivan. Come on, just go. Instant impact by Rafael Leao. Instant. And Ivan Pellegrini with a chance to double his goal tally today. Couple of options in here. There's Lofgren. There's Teo. It's going to find Kessi. Kessi. There's Gravenberch with the shot. As Thibaut Courtois making another immense save. Gravenberch, what a hit, man. The pie was there. Thibaut Courtois with an amazing save. Pellegrini once again looking to curl this one in. The inswinger. There's Teo. There's Romagnoli. It's going to be punched away. Get this away, Teo. Ivan Pellegrini. Back to Kessi. Leao, man, you should be running. You should be running, Rafael Leao. He is running. Great ball to Rafael Leao. Cuts inside. Now Rafael Leao, a bit too much skill here. Finding Gravenberch. The return pass to Sandro Tonali. And Courtois with another phenomenal save. Sandro with his weak foot. I think has five star. Trying to find the top right corner. It was there. But Courtois with another immense save, man. Let's give this to Pellegrini once again. There's Gravenberch on the outside. You know what? Let's try to go. It's going to be Takeiro. Tomiyasu comes out to Gravenberch. Let's drop it back for Romagnoli. Tomiyasu. Ball into Pellegrini. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Ivan goes back to Teo. That's not who I wanted. Now Gravenberch hit the shot. Get on, Neves. Calab I don't think so. This is going to be a mountain to climb in the second leg. Vinicius, if they get a third here, it's GG, guys. Yeah, Romagnoli. Thank you very much, Alessio. A strikers not in it today. Leal coming on. Instant impact. 2-1 loss in the first leg, guys. We're going to need a big one at the burnabout. But we showed promise. So many opportunities. Courtois kept them in this one. Napoli winning their next game. I would honestly, like, just rotate as much as we can against Roma. And I guess prioritize the Champions League right now. If we lose, though, I think... We're going to have to be Napoli at the San Siro when it, when it comes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and simulate this match against Roma and play against Real Madrid in the second leg. That This is this is like a massive episode, guys. So who realistically could play this game and then be all right? Kessie, Tonali, because we're going to need some big changes. But at the same time, we can't just go like full on like changing the entire team and then be completely screwed for this game because we still have the the Serie A to look forward to I'm going to be bringing Valente and Kalulu on the bench Gravenberg is going to just sit on the reserves for today so yeah guys I, I don't want to like risk it by playing a, a rotated lineup but at the same time we need the victory so <laughs> I'm just at such a dilemma and we need everybody ready for the match coming up against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu that's going to be massive and, and it might be Napoli heading to the Champions League final but Hopefully we can get a flying start. Leao came on. I don't know. Might be starting the next game. Uh, he's showing that he wants to continue playing. That's right into the hands of Kolar. Sandro. Good ball to Ivan Pelleg. No, Pellegrini. Just shoot, man. You've been, like, scoring as of late. And there he decides to try and lay it off to Leao. Sandro. He's got Pele Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. I'm happy about that. But we need to come back now. And then Bainiang. 1-0 down to Roma. The more important match is the one against Real Madrid. I, oh, look, I tell you, Not a good ball. All right. Good block. Uh, not much more we can do, guys. These, nice block by Kalulu. That's ours. Can we sneak a final minute goal? Kalulu. Sandro. Kessi. Valente is getting forward. Keep going, Valente. Good ball. Pellegrini, get in there. Please tell me he's onside. Please tell me he's onside. Yes, he is. As Paulo Valente came on and gives us some hope in this one. A draw is not the end of the world. A victory would have been ideal, but a loss would have been, like, detrimental. Ivan Pellegrini from Paulo Valente 
in the final minute of the match. I thought he might have been offside, but no, that's an incredible ball. And Pellegrini, another goal for this guy this episode. Probably going to be finishing 1-1. All right, we sneak something late at the death. We still have that match coming up against Napoli, and we don't know. Maybe they lost their next game, but that's a 1-1 draw. And it's, it's as big as a point as they come. Now we have Real Madrid, who gave us such a hard time in the first leg. Out of all the episodes I recorded for the Milan career mode right now, this is possibly my favorite one. Calabria is a bit tired on that right-hand side, man. That's what I'm saying, guys. Maybe we need to sign more backups and all that, but I hope the... You know what? Let's just do this. Let's put Bandura on... The bench, if we do need him, uh, I would like one of these young kids to just steal the show. Maybe put Valente on, he came on and had a fantastic game. I'm sorry, Colombo, I really am, man, but we're starting Allen and Lovgren, even Leao, I really am sorry about that. We need to come out firing in this match. We need two goals, and we need them now. Real Madrid, Milan, second leg at the Bernabeu. Just this stadium, the atmosphere is scaring me. 13, I think 13 times. I'm not sure if they won another one, but 13 time Champions League for Real Madrid, nine for Milan. So two like massive teams facing off against each other. And we need to just play our hearts out here. Ivan Pellegrini is becoming like a big star in the team. And like he's been doing more than Holland and Lovgren lately in this episode. And we need a big game from him. And these guys are going to come out firing as well. If they score one man, it may as well be game over. And I didn't check the game between Napoli and Liverpool, so we don't know what happened there. I know Napoli ha it was the away side, so if they put in one, it was big for them. Let's concentrate on this game. As Calabria with an overhead kick pass. Doesn't get it at all right. Yeah, I know what the player to watch is Ruben Neves. Like, I know. You don't have to tell me. Pellegrini. Spots Lovgren in the box. Lovely by Lovgren. Good stuff by Lovgren. Keep going. Oh, ref. Re Pe no pen. Man, you I can't get a pen anymore. I can't get a free kick. I can't get a pen. I can't get anything. Lovgren, and I thought he was definitely fouled by Courtois. Gravenberch. Lovely. Kessi. Keep going, Calabria. Davide now. Sending a big cross, Davide. Nobody's there. It's Holland. Hit it, Holland. Find Tonali. What a... What a block! Oh, okay, Vinicius. Alessio, what control, Donnarumma. And to nah, what, what are you complaining about? There should have been a penalty for me, Holland. Go, man. Go, Holland. Run. Calabria. Holland, man, I don't know why today he decided that he didn't want to run. Lovgren. Pellegrini. Fine, Sandro. Right away to Holland. Right away to Holland. Hit the shot, Erling Holland. Hit the shot. Let's go! Space opening up. Erling Haaland finds it from Sandro Tonali. And this is so much better than last time. Haaland gets us going. That's one away go. We need another. Tonali, what a ball by Pellegrini. He had Haaland. He had Lovgren. It found Lovgren and Courtois this time. Not making the save. Another goal for Haaland. I think number eight in the Champions League. Figure it out, please. Cross coming in. Donnarumma punches. Needs to get back it. Oh, nicely done by Gravenberch. One of those guys that plays so much better than his attributes say. As Gijo now trying to send a... Okay, Gijo. Not at all that. Firmino. Watch the ball that just gets played in behind us. Donnarumma. Thank you, Gijo. Let's go, Gijo. Get this away from danger. Pellegrini. Okay. 45 minutes gone. Erling Allen scoring one. We have hope that we can get a second, guys. 45 minutes, maybe more to play. Change for Real Madrid. Who, who's coming on? Kubo. Okay, Asensio. I'm going to make my substitution soon. Better later. So we have the fresher legs, just like Leao did last time against PSG. Pellegrini. Okay, Pellegrini. Oh, don't need to show off that much. It was there. It was there. We got like 25 minutes left, guys, to get ourselves a goal. Takefusa Kubo. Good speed by Kubo. Firmino. Calabria. Lovely by Davide. The pie is now on. Nice. They done. Give me something to work with. Pellegrini. Looking for Lovgren. Can he find them? What a ball. Come on, Olaf. Come on, Olaf. You've got time here. Lovgren needs to score. Needs. I. Courtois, man. You're. N oh, man. What a save. Sandro. Okay, guys. No foul here. They're a lot forward, man. They're, they are a lot forward. Nicely done. No. 
<laughs> God, one Bissaka is everywhere. Kessie, go, guys. Don't just stand there. Don't just stand there, Kessie. No, my God, Neves is everywhere. He hasn't stopped. He has not stopped the entire game. Go, Romagnoli. Two guys on him. Kess I can't get this ball away, man. Holland, go, man, Holland. Go, man, Holland. Don't just stand there, Holland. Tomiyasu. Great block by Takeiro. Now, Leao. Erling Holland. He's got a couple options here. Can he play in Lofgren? Good ball. Olaf, please. Olaf. Let's go. Erling Holland finding Olaf Lofgren. And as it stands, we're going through to the finals, guys. As Holland finding Lofgren. Tomiyasu pushing up. Holland. This is why I didn't take any of them off. I was thinking taking off Holland, bringing on Leao, taking off Lofgren, bringing on Leao. But what a strike by Olaf. As it stands. We're going through to the finals, guys. If they score, it's extra time. And that's something I absolutely don't want. All right, so Locatelli on. Four minutes left. And let's go, guys. Let's go, Wan-Bissaka. If they score, man, I'm going to... Oh, this is going to suck. As Wan-Bissaka to cross. You've got to be kidding me. Vlaovic. Probably one of those strikers that they bought just like that. They ruined him just like Luka Jovic. And then this is possibly the biggest goal he's ever scored. How? Tell me how. Tell me how. What a header by Vlaovic. Extra time coming. And he drop it. Okay, Conceição. Get in there, guys. There is Manuel Locatelli. Can he hit the shot? Valverde with the block. Nicely done between him. And Breno Conceição and Locatelli trying to get a big, big goal. Rafael Leao whipping in. There's Erling Haaland with that. Off the... I thought that was in. Locatelli. No, I thought that was in. And Romagnoli, I didn't expect him to get the ball. Look at the speed on this guy. Come on. No, not like this. Not like this. Donnarumma. Great stuff by Gigio. Great stuff by Gijo. That's why you're one of the world's best goalkeepers. You are the world's best goalkeeper right now. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Neves. Nicely done, Kessie. Go, guys. Holland. Leal. Lofgren. Can he find him? Yes, he will. Good speed by Lofgren. Can he drop it back in for Leal? That's a great play. And Leal with the strike that just... What a save by Courtois. Put the pressure, Manuel. Memphis. You can get the ball off of him. Lovely by Manuel Locatelli. Come on. He's doing so well here. Drops it back in for Lofgren. Olaf. Find Daniel Maldini. Maldini now. Lovely by Daniel Maldini. Can he play in Erling Holland? Why? Why did it take so long? The roulette was there. This one's going into penalties, guys. What a game. And still so much more to come. Penalty shootout. That's going to be the deciding factor, guys. Let's go. As Ruben Neves. Going first. Hits off the post. All right. At least it was on target. That's a good start. Courtois, you're not denying Erling Haaland. You're not. You're not. It's in the back of the net. Erling Haaland, okay. We have some room to breathe. Memphis Depay. Gigio. Still missing the target. All right. Rafael Leal. At least gives us some hope here. As Raf Oh, what a save. What a save by Thibaut Courtois. Fabian. Gigio. Let's go, Gigio. Fabian... Now Kessie. Dove vai Kessie? Dove vai Kessie? Andiamo là. What a penalty. All right. Timed it perfectly. If Gijo saves, we're into the finals where we're going to see who we're taking on. Either Napoli or Liverpool. Vinicius. Where is Vinicius going? Where? Ah, oh, chipping the goalkeeper. Chipping Gijo. And if Lovgren scores... He can send us through. He won us the Champions League. This time with a penalty. He can send us through. As Lovgren. Where are you going, Olaf? Where are you going, Lovgren? Milan into the Champions League final. Third year in a row. What a game. This has been the greatest two legs I've ever played. This has possibly been like the greatest episode I've ever recorded in the Milan career mode. And Lovgren sending us through. Come on, Olaf. Come on, Olaf. Milan, going through on penalties. All right, so what do you guys think happened between Napoli and Liverpool? Napoli smashed them. 2-0 in the first leg, 2-0 in the second leg. All Italian Champions League final. I've been wanting that for so long, and Napoli now 
with the opportunity to give us an even bigger game than Real Madrid because you guys know how frustrating Napoli can be. And it's going to be Milan-Napoli in the Champions League final, guys. And also, having a look at the table, guys, 81 points for Napoli. Our next game, well, we're taking on Genoa first, but our game against them is going to be crucial. 78 goals for 30 against. It's going to be like a preview of the Champions League final. 35 games each. We're behind them by one point. That match against Roma, we were able to scrape the draw, but in the end... It's so unfortunate. We might not be getting Scudetto this season. I know it's going to be a tough one. And Europa League, let's advance a couple days, see what the final is actually going to be. Maybe we could just... No, you know what? I'm going to leave it for next episode. 31 goals, 47 appearances for Olaf Lofgren. Like I said multiple times, probably not his best season, but still one of our best in the side. Erling Haaland with only 26 goals, but 10 assists for Erling Haaland. But I'm thinking maybe Zlatan's regen would be something good. Ivan Pellegrini really stepped it up in this episode. 10 goals, 8 assists. Oh, okay. Didn't play him that much. Gravenberch is playing so well. Maybe I could give him a better development plan to help him out, but it's because I want those shooting stats and his speed, or I don't really want to change his work rates. Maybe put them high-high, which would actually maybe help him out, so... I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. It's going to take about 13 weeks for Gravenberch, but to get him high defensive work rate, four goals, 10 assists for Colombo. Happy to just be playing whenever he can play. And then Ben Acer is going to be back in three weeks. So I don't think he's going to be there for the final. He's going to have to watch it from the sidelines. This has been a big like loss for us in Ben Acer. Two goals, seven assists for Sandro Tonali. And then we have Daniel Maldini, who I just wanted to show that he's playing well. Bandora. Two games, a goal for Arthur Bandura. And let's see who's going to be playing in the Europa League final. I think next episode is going to be the final episode of Season 6. Europa League final is going to be Manchester United, Atletico Madrid. That's going to be a big one. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, which I'm regarding as possibly one of the best ones I ever made. If you guys can leave me a like down below, I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time.